Welcome back to Yes Dev, the show where my opinions are facts and the video clips don't matter. That's right, the video clips are like opinions that aren't mine. They just they just don't matter. For this episode, we're going to talk about feedback. So, who gives a shit about feedback? I mean, you're just going to make games for yourself, right? So, you're the only person who matters and you don't need validation or a critique, any of that stuff. As long as you like it. As anyone that makes art, and in games especially, there's a lot of people who want to throw feedback at you. So you need you need a certain filter based on you know what you want out of feedback. So say you're doing one of your early learning projects, you're doing tutorials, you're doing you know your prototypes, whatever. There's certain feedback that you should be responsive to, technical things, things that'll probably be very obvious to you. That you go, oh, yeah, that is bad that my Pong paddle is going off screen and it can't use it. I should definitely fix that. But if they give you feedback about, you know, stuff that seems outside of what you ever intend to do with the project, like adding 500 levels to your Pong prototype, you can ignore that. Not all feedback is equal. Not all feedback is relevant. The feedback that tells you your prototype doesn't have good graphics they can go fuck themselves. The hard part of this is that the best feedback you're gonna get is from stuff that is gonna be probably pretty negative because the guy who's really positive and saying, I like the game, I think you should really do this, is someone who has an imagination of something that they want your game to be, not necessarily what you plan to do with your game. And so while very nicely written, it's also probably going to send you off on a complete tangent if you follow it. Whereas negative feedback, feedback that you might not enjoy getting, but it's relevant to what you want to get out of your finished project, you should pay a little bit of attention, right? And furthermore, I like to point out that you should definitely filter people's opinions based on who they are. Fuck the bullshit about an opinion is an opinion. You should take it all. If they're a game dev, that opinion is worth more to you because I mean, maybe their opinion will be filtered by what they're doing and what they have done, but the, it'll also be filtered by experience, not being idiots. You know, people who play a lot of games, they think they know a lot about games, but they they don't. They, they really don't. People who haven't made a game are going to pitch a lot of really dumb things because they've never made a game. I mean, that's just, that's just, how, that's just what it is, which is a shame because they're going to be the people most passionate to pitch suggestions to you because the closest thing to ever making a game that they will actually have is Minecraft and, and pitching you something that will hopefully become a game and then point to you and go, he used my idea. The game flopped and it was terrible and, and no one likes it, but he used it. And, and that's a part of me that's immortal forever now without me having to actually do anything. So um, just because someone, you know, passionately suggests something doesn't mean you should take it up. I think the best thing is obviously, as I've said throughout this series, is to have a strong, you know, design for what you want to do. It'll make this whole process of, of filtering your feedback way simpler because you know what you're trying to do. So when it comes to feedback, you need strong convictions to filter everyone's dumb, 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 dumb opinions. Everyone has dumb opinions, except for me. I'm great.